Hi everyone, this is Mr. Draper and this is my mystery jar right here. As you can see, I have a bunch of sports stickers on it for PE and there are three pieces of paper in it. So each piece of paper has a question on it that I will be asking our secret guest who should be here any second now. And I can't wait for you to see who it is. Mr. Torres, thank you What's for joining me. Nice to see you, sir. Yeah, good to see you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, all is well. Question number one is going to be, which teacher most inspired you growing up and why? Okay, so that was a teacher named Mrs. Walker. She was my fourth grade teacher and she was so awesome. And the reason why she was so cool is because she taught um, about things that she loved and she loved whales. Uh -huh. And if you can see this picture, if you notice how small that elephant is in comparison to the blue whale, um, that blew my mind. I thought, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then she would actually bring in, um, it has this, this kind of teeth, it's called baleen. And when it swims through the ocean, you notice how big it is. Well, you have to eat a lot if you're that big. So it catches shrimp in its baleen and it, it like strains out the shrimp. And so it just, and then it has a giant tongue and it licks the baleen and eats all the shrimp. And I just thought that was the coolest thing in the whole wide world to be able to hold the baleen and learn all about these gigantic creatures. And it was just fascinating. And um, she taught it in different ways all year long. It wasn't just like one lesson because she loved it and she would go on whale watching tours and she would do all this cool stuff. I just thought it was super cool. So Mrs. Walker, um, she was my favorite. All right, question number two is how do you stay active outside of work? Okay, well, you know what? I am not the most active person, but my wife loves to go on walks and hikes. She likes to go on hikes and I go, she goes all the time. I go on them once in a while. Um, and one of my favorite places to hike, especially we've done it with my kids tons, hundreds of times in our lives, is um, we go to the Fullerton Loop and the Fullerton Loop is close by and there's a picture of it. And I think it's super cool because it's just really, you can see how big it is. It's wide like that. Um, but you can see the backs of people's houses as you walk through. And a lot of these houses have like horses or animals. And so you have this very peaceful place to go walking, a great place to talk and laugh with your family. And you're getting exercise. There's a lot of room to spread out. So right now during COVID, we want to keep distance and there's tons of space. So that's really great too. Fresh air, it's pretty. And um, it's a fun thing to do with your family and it's free and it yeah. close by, so. All right, number three is, oh, this is a good one. What is your favorite healthy food that you like to eat and why? Okay, I eat every day. Every day I eat at least one lemon. As a matter of fact, um, one of uh, my friends brought me some lemons today and, and somebody brought me some lemons because the people in the office know I love lemons so much. And you know what's funny? They never go bad. There are some things in my refrigerator that go bad. I eat a lemon every day. And a lot of times I'll squeeze it into a glass of water and, um, and, and then I'll actually put the lemon in too. And um, I just love it. And I get lots of vitamin C. It helps me stay healthy. Um, in that way. So, you know, vitamin C helps us, um, it boosts our immune system a little bit. And um, it's one of those important vitamins. So I get that with my vitamins, uh, with my lemons, and um, it's super yummy, good stuff. Awesome. Yeah, my mother in law has an orange tree, but not a lemon tree, or else I'd <laughs> bring you some. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Sometimes I eat them raw, and people go, oh my gosh, how can you eat that without any sugar or anything on it? I like sour stuff. Yeah. I had one bonus question for you um, that okay. I thought of. Um, thinking back to when you were in elementary school, what was your favorite PE activity? Oh, I love, you know what? PE's always been fun. I know it's always everybody's favorite or one of everybody's favorite. Um, I loved jump roping. I was really good at it. I used to do double dutch. And double dutch is where um, you get a long rope and there'll be two people at each side and they do... Uh, alternating ropes so it looks really cool when they do it and then you have to time it and you have to jump in and you've got two jump ropes that you're jumping over and I used to be really good at it um I still like to jump rope a little bit but 
you know, <laughs> I'm not 10 years old anymore when that's lots of fun to do. So uh, it's a great one. And I also love Frisbee. And I like Frisbee because I used to be able to do it in my backyard all by myself. I used to get it and I used to throw it into the wind at an angle. And I would try to get it kind of like a boomerang to come back at me. And um, I thought that was always fun to do. So there are lots of fun. Frisbees are awesome. So. Yeah, I miss being in person with the students and doing, I know we had a really good long jump rope routine. We had different progressions and the kids really enjoyed it. And then we actually just did a Frisbee on one of our slides that we sent home for the asynchronous, a um, at-home Frisbee out of paper plates. Yeah. Uh, that actually sure. works really well. It's nice and sturdy. They're super cheap. Um, and you can make your own or you can get one at the 99 cent store or whatever there. And there are lots of fun hours of fun for me when I was a kid. Well, that's all I have, but thank you for joining me. And I can't wait for the kids to hear your answers and just to see another familiar face. I think they'll really enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you for doing this. You guys have fun and stay active. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.